Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build this bulk storage silo system. Essentially this is a very compact two wide storage silo that can be placed side by side with another silo. It can also be expanded upwards infinitely. You can take items out of the silo at the bottom using this dropper and put items in with a hopper at the top. So based on the size of your solo you could put a chest on the side at reaching distance to put items in or you could have a larger silo with an automatic farm hooked up to it which is what this design is intended for. So if we have a look around the back you can see how compact this is. We have a snake of chests and hoppers going down to the bottom that take up these three blocks of space. And in these two spots there are alternating comparators and blocks meaning each chest has a comparator to power the lamp at the front. All lamps are powered indirectly meaning you can stack this design side by side without having any issues. The first lamp will turn on when there are more than 24 slots of storage space filled and each lamp after that will turn on when 59 inventory slots have been filled. This means a storage silo of this size can hold 24,192 items when it's full. So before we jump into the tutorial, I'd like to say thanks to my friend JesperHB98. We collaborated on this storage silo design together, and with his help it turned into a really compact and efficient design. But feel free to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the design. I'm now going to start the tutorial and show you how to build the bulk storage silo system. Okay, so to build this you are going to need an area of land that is four blocks wide and four blocks deep. Now this can be built as tall as you want so make sure you have enough space above it and if you plan on building these side by side make sure you've got room on either side. But the first thing that we're going to place are the droppers which appear at the bottom so you don't need any space below where they go and they go at the front right here. So to build this you are going to need two droppers, six hoppers, two blocks to go at the front, they can be decorational blocks like these quartz one over here and then you're going to need two blocks that go behind them as well and that's just for the bottom layer. Then depending on how many layers you want above them, for every single layer you are going to need two redstone lamps, two decorational blocks at the front. You will also need some building blocks behind there as well but it's different on each alternating layer. You will also need two redstone comparators, two hoppers, two chests and two trap chests. So the first layer is really simple to build. We want to start off by placing down our droppers at the front. Now I've put them facing upwards so we can see that side of the block. It doesn't really matter. You can have them like this if that's how you want to display it. Then on either side we're going to put our decorational blocks and behind those are more functional blocks. They can be any type of course. And then back here we want to place some hoppers facing into the dropper in front like that going round to the side and then we do that on either side and that is the first layer of this done. So we are going to build our first layer of chests and bear in mind there are two alternating layers here but we're going to start off by putting our decorational blocks on the outside and then our redstone lamps on the inside. Then if we go around to the back here we want to place our two building blocks like that and then on the outside here we want to put a chest and then a dropper facing into that chest. Now on this side over here we're going to put another chest like that but if you want to have these things built side by side then this will need to be a trap chest so the next one has a regular chest that can be next to it like that. Then we want to put a hopper into the back and then all we have to do is put a comparator on either side and that is our first layer of chests done. So we will start off the second layer of chests like the last one. We are going to put our decorational blocks on either side and then put our redstone lamps in the middle. Now around the back of this we want to put four blocks in a row like so and then we're going to put two comparators here facing into those blocks. Then behind them we can put our chests. So on this one over here we want a regular chest. On the other side it will be a trapped one so they can go side by side. And then all we need to do is put a hopper facing into this one and a hopper facing into that one and then it is complete. So that is everything you need to know to build this. All you need to do now is repeat this layer and then the one above it going upwards. But I thought that I would show you how to do that again. So let's do that first layer. We need to place our decorational blocks and lamps. And behind it we need comparators on either side. And then blocks above these comparators down below. Then we can put in our chests. So it's a chest on this side. A trap chest on the other side. And then at the back here we have a hopper pointing into each of those. So back to the front for the next layer, we put a decorational block on either side, then our redstone lamps, then behind here we've got four blocks in a row like so. Now we can put in our comparators and then our chests, so again trap chest on that side, regular one on this side 
and then we just put in our droppers. So that really is all you need to know on how to build this. Of course these hoppers at the top is where you would hook up your automatic farms or if you wanted to do something with the chest like I showed earlier in the video then you would have an extra hopper there and your chest at the top. But that is it for this video. If you'd like to download this world there will be a link in the description box down below. But as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.